Hey everybody, I am going to go down to the corn and see if, I mean, from the house, it looks completely dead and dried up. And I know to eat sweet corn, the plants are not dead and dried up. So <laughs> let's go down and see what's down there. So the mowers were just here and I'm looking forward to picking up this grass for my compost. Oh yes, it's totally dried up. Wow, it's just dried up. All right, we're gonna just get all this corn off of here and then my neighbor's gonna take the stalks to feed to his cows. Oh, look at all the beans, wow. Wow, aren't they pretty? Purple hull peas, it's a southern staple. These are field peas, meaning they're not sweet peas, green peas. I don't know why some are green and some are purple. It's kind of interesting. Wow. Now I'm growing these peas for seed and to eat, to dry and to eat from dry. Gosh, let's just see if there's any okra in here. Well, It obviously bloomed. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's get after this corn. Yeah, all right. Okay, this is a good point. This is like so old that it's not moist anymore and it's got big worm in it. So, you see all these kernels are dried up.
Well, that's not much to show for all of my efforts, but I learned a lot. And I'm saving a few of the biggest corns to get a little bit bigger and save them for seed. That's what's left here.
Oh, wow. That was quite the job. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. I, I thought I would end with just, you know, if you don't eat one corn out of all that work, I mean, But I learned some valuable lessons, which I think I'll do a, a video on don't make these six mistakes when growing corn, <laughs> something like that. Anyway, you know, the, the theory is if there's a big fat worm in it, then that means it's fresh and good and not you know, doesn't have chemicals on it. And every one of them does. Every one of them is half eaten by a worm, but this end is pretty good. Let's, let's try it out. Mm. 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 <clears throat> I'm glad I tried it. I'm glad I had the experience. I'm glad I didn't plant the whole field and then mess all of that up. I just did a few rows at the bottom. So thanks so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. Scroll down and click all so you won't miss anything right here on my journey to become a sustainable homesteader. I'll see you in the next video. God bless. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.